You're on. Okay. Going to pray with us here. I'm going to take him through the procedures. I will take a sample of the, the oil from the separator. I'm taking the sample from the vessel which will be zero to the oil storage tank. So, good pray. And you confirm you have the PPE required for the task. Yeah, uh, I have all the PPE uh, necessary for this task. I have the plastic gloves for the oil sample taking. I have protective uh, glasses for my eyes. I have uh, steel toe shoes and a coverall. So I have two PPE ready to take the sample. Okay. Can you confirm that your sample bottle is, is uh, not damaged? It doesn't yeah, have any, uh, any issues? Yeah, the, the, lead, the lead is okay. Uh, the sample bottle is ready for the PPE. It's not damaged at all. Ready for the sample taking. Okay, uh, we shall label it after you've done the, uh, the sample to avoid uh, dusting of the sample, the, the sample level. Um, please check with your provider that the right time to take the sample. Uh, is, is it okay for me to take the sample at this time and at this sample point? Yes, thank God for you. Just check with the uh, control room. Yes, we can take the sample at this time. Okay. okay. I'm ready to take the sample. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the sample and what I'll do first is to make sure that I purge the sample line uh, to remove any impurities in the line uh, right now. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll use this uh, for the purging of the, the line. And I'll place this uh, container inside the banded area just in case there's any spillage during my purging of the line. completed finding the sample the sample line and clear has no no impurities uh, I'll just proceed uh, going forward to clean my receptacle my bottle uh, to remove also the impurities just as I've done with the sample line and I'll use the oil sample the oil to clean I'll do it two times to make sure there are no impurities for any cross contamination of my sample. I'm now rinsing the, the bottle to remove any impurities from, from the sample bottle. I'll do it the second time. Just make sure everything is okay.
finish rinsing the sample bottle and it looks now clean enough to take our sample for, for the lab test. And having done that, I'll go ahead and take the sample up to the collar of the bottle and make sure I put the lid back so that I don't cross contaminate the sample. back on the bottle so that there is no cross contamination and I'll clean my sample bottle with the rag provided so that the sample is clean and the sample bottle is also clean from the cycle taking. Excellent good question at this point. If there was an issue that you saw with that sample, could you explain to me what you would do, please? If there was any issue, like impurities in the bottle while I was taking the sample, I would pour out back this sample into the, the waste, the waste uh, container and take another sample twice or thrice. And if those impurities continue occurring or I see a problem continuously, I'll contact my supervisor or control room to let them know that there's a problem with the sample point. Thank you for the answer, yes, yeah. it's correct. Well, uh, I'll finish taking the sample, I'll move on to the stage of labeling, which we jump because I should have been made data. I'll label my sample, and then ready to be put in the basket, sample basket. Excellent. How would you keep that sample free from contamination? The first thing to do is to make sure the lid is tight. You tighten the lid so that there is no cross-contamination. And secondly, after labeling, put it uh, in the sample basket to be taken to the laboratory. So there is no way there will be cross-contamination. Excellent, thank you. Yeah. So I'm going to label my sample bottle. With my name. The name, the date, date, the time. Today is lesson number. Today is third, is it? Yes. The third. The time, the lesson number. Uh, lesson number V02 for it storage. Time, time is a quarter past. Uh, quarter past was ten. Uh, time is. Yes, so zero two and the product in the product and sample. sample has already been taken, it is well labeled, ready to be transferred and handed over to the lab technician to continue with his, his work. So I'll put it in the sample basket to be transferred to the lab. Excellent. Could you now show me how you would uh, finish the task, please? Yeah. Uh, after doing that, I will again put on my PPE to go and do the housekeeping of the area where I took the sample from and make sure any wastes are put in the proper place. 
So I'll, I'll, I'll start with first of all cleaning up this area and making sure everything is okay. Uh, if, there are, if there are any spillages, I'll make sure they are clean. Take any waste in this receptacle to the waste area to ensure that our environment, our environment is not destroyed in the process. Do that. So I put the oil in the slope tanks and uh, I will need the rack. Need the rack to clean up any small spillages that could occur in the process. These rags have also to be put in the oily rags uh, bins after clean up so that they are not mixed with the other wastes in the process. Thank you. Thank you, Godfrey, for your assessment.